my generation has been really encouraged by adults and previous generations to believe that we can achieve anything in terms of careers that we want. For example, if someone dreams of being an artist or an astronaut, they know that that's achievable. So it's just kind of baffling to me that there's still so little representation for women in STEM when they've been told from a young age that if they want to be a scientist, they can do it. Uh, Math and science have always been more geared towards boys and getting your hands dirty and then English and that type of thing were reserved more for girls and writing. You don't usually hear a lot about famous women um, or even um, other underrepresented groups like people of color. You don't really get to hear a lot about their contributions to science. It's usually just white men. Collins. I'm a senior at Sussex County Technical School and I started over the summer a summer camp called GEMS which stands for Girls Empowered by Math and Science. So my friend knows this girl from Florida and her name is Caroline and she started a GEMS program as an after school club where she got young elementary girls to come over to the high school and they would do science experiments in like an empty classroom and they would have a good time and learn about women in STEM and that was an after school program. I found out about this program and I thought it was a really great idea and I reached out to her to see if I could try and start up a GEMS program here in New Jersey but in the form of a summer camp. Larissa Collins, she uh, texted me over the summer asking if I would like to participate in the GEM program for girls, and I thought it was actually very empowering. I felt that it was very inspiring that we can do that for young girls and empower them to choose a science field or a math or engineering, engineering field. So about a month before my camp started, I had all my enrollment filled out and I had 27 girls signed up for the camp. Let's talk about bridges. We're going to use the cups that your crystals were in and we're going to flip them upside down and you're going to build a bridge from one cup to the other. I really wanted to like teach them things and inspire them and get them excited, but I'd never taught before, so this was definitely something that was new for me and I was kind of scared. I am a female looking to go into a STEM field and I'm very passionate about math, which is what I hope to pursue. And I think that representation is really important, especially for girls, because you don't really see a lot of women in STEM when you're learning science in school and looking through your textbook. So I think that if you see and learn about women who have been successful in the field, then that's more motivation for you to see yourself in that field. This camp is a way for me to inspire young girls and get them interested in a subject that they might not usually see themselves in. We mainly, um, we try to get give it support. Uh -huh. Um, it's just, I like being a role model for students that otherwise might not have a role model. Um, I used to be really shy and then I started doing karate and I had a lot of um, older girls to look up to that were um, loud and strong um, as women and it made me want to become that so the thought of other girls not having that role model is a little scary. When I found science and like middle school like my teacher made me aware that like it was like something you could be passionate about and it was okay to be passionate about it and she's like acknowledged my passion I thought it's important for someone to have like a role model especially if they're discovering like what they want to do so they know like wow I can do this like here's someone older than me who's done it and so can I if that's what I want to do so growing up in my school we didn't really learn like real science until maybe like the sixth grade. So I thought that it was really important for the girls to be able to be exposed to difficult concepts before they actually encounter it so that they have the confidence they need to go forward knowing that they can do it. Every day I would ask them, what does a STEM superhero look like? And the girls would tell me a STEM superhero is intelligent. They're passionate. They're kind. It was empowering and uplifting to have like a whole room full of girls that are learning and that wanted to learn about STEM programs and different things. Like sometimes people say like boys are only allowed to do this and like girls can do it too though. For this camp you get like 
girls to know that like some things aren't just for boys, girls can do it too? I think that it just gets to broaden their perspective on what they might want to do. It's definitely giving them an option that maybe didn't even exist to them before. I wanted them to leave with a sense of confidence about STEM and maybe if they hadn't previously considered it as a career option, have gotten them excited enough to maybe consider it as something that they can do and that would be fun and exciting and that they could succeed in.